improving skills, saving mother and baby's lives. So far, in the last 12 months, some 6,000 health professionals have received the latest training, thanks to the charity Baby Lifeline. Set up in 1981 by Coventry nurse Judy Ledger, she herself lost three babies because of premature births. They were too small, they lived for a while, it was very, very traumatic. I was told I would never have children. I went on to have children, but with a huge amount of care. And that's why Baby Lifeline has focused in the areas that it's focused to ensure that other mothers get the best care as well. Alongside Judy at the latest training sessions, two stars of film and stage. They're both now working closely with Baby Lifeline. Georgia Tennant is the producer of a film starring her husband and written by her best friend, Daisy Aitkins. Who is the daddy? I am the daddy. Yes, you are. She's pregnant. You are going to be a daddy. Our film is about the journey of, of women, of different types of women, to get from that moment you decide you might want to have a baby to the moment that that baby is in your arms. And you don't necessarily know that that's going to go smoothly. It's sort of like jumping off a cliff and you don't know whether you're going to land or whether you're going to fly. Um, and it's because of people like Judy that make it more possible to fly. The film is to be premiered this coming Saturday in Birmingham, all in aid of Baby Lifeline. We thought it was important and right to connect with a charity that not only supports but does so much good for women who are enduring those complications. At a time when maternity services are stretched like never before, the help of Britain's most famous doctor, the charity's latest ambassador, is much needed. It's not just things that go wrong, it's making sure everything goes right. So um, David is a father of four and very much a family man, lovely man. She fought so hard to have children herself. Judy Ledger was joined at the end of this latest training session by her daughter, Sarah, who plans to continue her mother's work to make Baby Lifeline a success story. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. That's quite some star backing. Now